What's the point of using this? What's the point? What's the point in museums? Yeah. <laughs> oh, crikey! <laughs> forget that. Forget that. What was the question again? I guess they're a kind of archive of lived experience. It's about bringing people together to to inspire. Understanding your roots, your past, your heritage. A, a place for learning, which is not formal education. A way of exploring our world. Giving a space for reflection. Facts about their own family histories. Lots of different things to lots of different people. It is what, it, what the people need it to be. I think the most important thing about museum is that they are about story. And it's in story that we can see ourselves reflected and we can see both our past and our future. Creative Museums has been a programme of adventure. Uh, it's been for seven museums, Batsy Arts Centre has been one of them. We've kind of hosted this partnership, this two-year adventure, and together we have all been exploring the role of Scratch uh, and also the role of the producer in terms of thinking about uh, the future of our museums. As a way of exploring how they can become stronger, uh, more resilient, more outward facing and more responsive to the people in the communities that they live and work within. Infrastructure of museums can become quite static and quite formal and quite distancing and felt that the way that Battersea works with this very immediate, immersive, an engaged relationship had enormous potential for museums to learn about how they could do things more quickly, more spontaneously, more creatively, and also with more humanity, I think. The museum's going to be 100 years old next year, and it seemed a really good time to look at the way we work and the way we work with our communities. I felt that there was, there was a kind of lack of passion, lack of creativity, lack of vision at the museum and that perhaps if we were part of this it would inject a bit of passion into what we were doing. It's always interesting to work with somebody who comes from a different creative environment. Um, it makes you reflect upon your own practice, it also gives you a different perspective on what you're trying to do. Creative museums, the very term of that is exciting, you know, to be a creative museum, wow, you know, particularly for a Jewish museum that has certain stereotypes around it, you know, it's, that it's not a particularly um, fun, exciting, playful museum. They're trying to change those perceptions of, of what a Jewish museum is, and I think being creative is a key part of that vision. I think all seven museums have gone on a journey to think about who are we, what are we doing, why are we doing it, who are we doing it for. And Scratch and the role of the producer, I think both have a really significant amount to contribute to help you find your cause and your purpose. What is Scratch? <laughs> Yo, what do you you were going to ask me that? <laughs> Scratch is... Um, is a term that, to be honest, I think people struggle with. It's having an idea and sharing it at the first opportunity. Making progress with ideas bit by bit. A way of working, it's a philosophy. It evolves and it morphs shape depending on institutions and individuals. So it starts with an idea. It's then actually testing that idea. And when you share it, you ask Questions. It's sifting through that feedback and working out what it means for you and your idea. And that joining together of minds informs the next layer of work. So people get a real taste and a real experience as the work grows. They feel part of the work. They feel welcome in their contributions and they feel part of whatever emerges at the end. That's so long-winded. I do describe it better at work when people ask me.
initially when I first came to the first cohort day. I left and I thought slightly panicked because I still didn't really feel I knew what scratch was and uh, maybe I was putting too much pressure on myself because actually those things have become, it has become easier to understand and then of course we've now gone on and we've done our own kind of experiments. The journey for us is, is going on and, and finding the right ways to enable creativity in our organisation. So scratch is, is a, has inspired us I think to, to really embrace that whole philosophy around um, experimenting with our audiences, listening to what people tell us um, and as a result sort of testing things again to create a much stronger offer. We knew we wanted to do something about what is it to be Brazilian and live in Brent. The rest of it came from them. It showed how effective it was to actually do this scratch idea by like, actually asking them and like trialling different ideas out. I was really proud to share the work that we do here and I was really proud to be part of a programme that hopefully, hopefully will mean that people, that other venues and other arts organisations will thrive. It's been fun, it's probably given us some different problem solving techniques, um, but more importantly it's given us the space to think about that. Without a shadow of doubt, it's definitely exceeded my expectations. Because as I say, now I know how it can help our organisation. And I feel so kind of strongly that it will work for us, that I've put it into our service plan for the future. I think some of, of what we've learned during the project definitely will have been embedded. And the opportunity for people to, to learn a little bit about the, the Scratch methodology, to work with BAC during this period I think has been very valuable. I've always felt very supported by everybody here really. Scepticism has given way at least in some heads to saying okay you know th these funny people from Battersea have definitely shown us that we we could and should be doing more than we have been doing. It's a bit different uh, and it's a theatre and, and it's museums. I hope that other organisations get a chance to have the Battersea experience. I think it's been a great success and it's been hard to pin down the success in our evaluation report. But in a way, it's not about the report, it's about what lives in people and what they will take forward in their work. Yeah, it's been really good. It's been really good. I was surprised. <laughs> <laughs>